So good day. My name is Melissa Callison from catamaransite.com. Here we have Carla and Simon sailing their Lagoon 400 Ocean Fox. Um, Carla and Simon. Hi. Nice yeah. to have you here today. Um, yes. Can you Thank tell you. us about uh, your boat and what you're doing? Uh, well, we've got a Lagoon 400 um, Mark 1 uh, from 2013 and uh, she's an owner's version. So we have the starboard side is uh, the whole of the owner's uh, cabin and uh, heads. And on the port side, we've got two cabins and a single head. Some of them come with two heads on one side or a single head, but we've got the one with a single head, which is a larger uh, uh, heads, basically bathroom, yeah. And uh, we're currently in uh, Portugal, Portugal. Uh, in the Algarve, having sailed 25,000 miles from Croatia across the, uh, over to Greece, across the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, and as far out as uh, um, Panama and uh, Me Mexico, Me Mexico, before we made yeah. our way back uh, earlier this year. Yes. Well, great. Southern Portugal is a beautiful place to be. <laughs> Yes, it is. Actually, at the moment with uh, all the pandemic things, it's, it's pretty good here. Yeah. 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 Great. So why did you choose um, the Lagoon 400? Well, we went to um, various boat shows before we, buy, we bought this boat and um, to choose which boat we would like to have. Which brand, basically. Which brand, yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, from that that the beginning we just uh, well, decided that we wanted the lagoon yeah we wanted a lagoon we yeah. just uh, felt that um they were sturdy enough for what we needed uh we felt that the resale value would be good on them and uh we rather liked the design over some of the others um we didn't actually go out to buy a lagoon 400 we we're in the process of buying a lagoon 440 uh in italy and having paid the deposit uh the uh, sale fell through because the guy that was selling it decided he didn't want to sell it. And having sold our house and only having a week to move out, we were actually in a bit of a panic session trying to find ourselves a boat because we made a few offers on some other ones. And then all of a sudden this one came on the market and uh, we kind of looked at it and went, well, it's not as big as the 440, but um, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's ticking an awful lot of boxes. Yeah. So Carla was still working. Yes. So I got uh, sent down to Croatia to have a look and her last words were, don't come home unless you've bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought it there and then. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And uh, two weeks later, we were uh, sitting first on First time on the boat. Yes. Yeah, that was the first oh. time you saw the boat. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. What, what is the best thing about your Lagoon 400? The best thing? Mm hmm uh, I really like the, the fact that it's an uh, owner's version because yeah. it gives us a lot of space, open space, uh, just for ourselves. If we have visits, we can just shut the door and we have the whole place for ourselves. Yeah, I, uh, for me, I think I trust this boat enormously, actually. Yes. Uh, we've been out in uh, winds uh, up to 50 knots and the most we've ever been in was 63 knots. Uh, on our way down to the Canary Islands, uh, it was from behind us, but we were, uh, we got really hit by the tail of a hurricane down there. And we've seen seas uh, which are too higher than the boat, There's absolutely no question about that, and even higher. And um, the boat has always looked after us. Yeah. Uh, we've been banged around, we've been shoved around, uh, we've healed over, and all sorts of things. And um, the boat really has looked after us. It's us that kind of uh, get more nervous than the boat, really, if that's possible. Yeah. 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 So I, I actually think this boat is very well made, um, very strong. And I have no issue with it at all about going across an, an ocean. None whatsoever, having done the Atlantic right. twice. So she's she's easy to handle in heavy weather and in big seas. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly say that. Um, I hate the mainsail. I find I find the mainsail. We've got a square top mainsail, and mm -hmm. the damn thing's just so big and so powerful. We are always yeah. reefing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we reef before time. We reef yeah. just reefing all yeah. the time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so I wouldn't you have, have said it. Storm bell option. No, we've only got. Uh, Two sails, a main in Genoa. Uh, yeah. We've got three reefs for the main and uh, further for the Genoa, and we've got a code zero. Yeah. But 
I wouldn't have said it's easy. Uh, I mean, I've never sold a catamaran before. Um, I've had four monohulls before, but um, so long as it's off the wind, it uh, will go like a train. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, to windward, you might as well just stick the engine in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she does not go to windward very well. Yeah, I mean, sure. after 25,000 miles, I still can't get it to point higher than 55 degrees. 55 and, degrees, wow. Yeah. yeah. And um, if, it's, uh, if, 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 if it's anything but calm, uh, then uh, it, you, you, you just struggle and you slide off it and you're, you're gone. We actually missed the north coast of Cuba one night uh, because we uh, just couldn't go to windward anymore. Windward, yeah. um, the wind was up around 40 odd knots and uh, we were just heading south instead of uh, sort of, uh, you know, a little bit more north and we actually missed the north coast. And, and we, we, we did another eight, 800, 800 nautical, nautical miles, miles. Uh, going south. On the Cuba yeah, coast. going yeah. along the south coast of Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, it can wow. be a bit of a disadvantage that one. Yeah, yes. but having you said that, oh, Cuba. oh yes, 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 yes. We did the whole of the south coast. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. uh, we did the islands off the south coast, and we went to Havana as well. Um, our best run uh, was from Cayman to an island called Islas Mujeres, which is off uh, Cancun. And that was 180, 188 uh, in a day. 188 nautical miles in, in 24, 24 hours. hours. Yeah. Great. It's not bad. Wow. Really. So it's so you've, you've cruised around the Caribbean and were able to visit Cuba. I personally am a little bit jealous about that. Um, <laughs> uh, what does she like to anchor? Like at, or what does she like at anchor? Uh, what's she like at anchor? Um, She's absolutely fine. Yeah. I mean, she's absolutely yeah, fine, fine because we, we yeah. went to the Bahamas, we did the whole Bahamas, and it's very, very shallow. The water yeah. there are very shallow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good yeah. boat to do that, yeah. wasn't it? Because yeah. we were, um, we could we could go a little bit further. Away yeah, on the so place. we only draw 1.2 meters or yeah. four foot. Um, and uh, it really does mean you can get in quite a long way. We've got 100 meters of chain. Uh, we normally stick out around about 30 to 50 meters depending on the depth of water or the wind. Um, and uh, when she's actually on anchor, uh, even if it's blowing 30 knots, she's absolutely fine. Yeah. We were in Aruba for seven weeks at anchor, basically in the same spot apart yeah. from a few times. Yeah. And it was blowing 30, 35 knots the whole time out there. And you don't know it. You, you don't yeah. know it's, uh, you know. It's fine, something. absolutely yeah. fine. We never yeah. had a problem. Yeah. 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 The only time it gets a bit weird is when you're trying to lay the anchor out uh, anchor chain out and it's gusty and the boat turns sideways. I don't know why it does that, but instead of just going back, it always wants to go sideways yeah. and you've got to kind of like use the two engines to, to get the stern round. But apart from that, no, it's absolutely uh, brilliant at anchor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We spend most of our life at anchor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice place to be. <laughs> yeah. I've lived on my boat for 15 years and cruised around the Caribbean myself, so. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. lovely. Um, yeah. So how long have you had the boat? It'll so be three years, years in March. Three years? Yeah. 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 And you've been mostly cruising around. Have you had an opportunity to customize or do any upgrades or, of, of any sort? We did, we did some upgrades. Well, you couldn't stand the, the hull. No, no, no. The hob it was terrible. The standards the were over the hob, uh, the cooking. Um, you know, the stove. cooker, the stove, the, the top stove. part. Oh, OK. Oh. Oh. Uh, so it's uh, the standard one from Lagoon and the oven are terrible. Uh, yeah. That's uh, one of the few things I have to say about the Lagoon is just horrendous. So we had to put a new one. Yeah, so we put a, the stove top, a standard yeah. European Bosch yes. uh, hob, three burner hob, in, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And you don't need uh, fiddles or, or gimballing or anything like that. No. Even in the rough weather, the kettle's never fallen off. No. So, no. Uh, yeah. No. No, and if, if it's fine. too rough, you're not going to cook anyway. So, yeah. it's, uh... um, we added a wind turbine. Um, we're quite heavy users of electricity, actually. Yes. Um, and uh, we added a wind turbine, which has really been quite successful. Uh, I get a lot of people criticize wind turbines, but um, if you've actually had one, uh, you seek out windier anchorages and, uh, you know, they, they pull the electricity in 24 hours a day. Um, we put a new inverter in, we had a two kilowatt inverter, we put a three kilowatt in. Yeah. 
Yes, we uh, put a second plotter uh, inside, yeah, inside because it only had the one outside, so yeah. we put an, uh, another one in, so yeah. we could stay just inside it uh, on the yeah. night. Yeah, so, uh, so on the night watch, watch. Uh, out in uh, on the ocean, uh, we wouldn't go outside unless we had to, uh, to change any of the sails, and uh, then we'd have two of us up. But otherwise, one of us would be a watch from inside. You've got the plot of the AIS, um, all that sort of business going on. And you've got very good visibility, almost 360 degrees from uh, the sort of cockpit. We yeah. upgraded the radio too. Yeah, we upgraded the VHF radio. So we had a handheld upstairs uh, because the point when you kind of need your radio is normally when you're going into a port. And if you've got the radio downstairs, you you know, you're kind of not using the best radio that you've got. So um, we put one of those in, we put a freezer in. Yeah. Um, we had uh, two fridges and a small freezer in one of the fridges. So we upgraded it. Yes. Well, we put a new we'll freezer, put a new one. additional yes. fridge in. Yeah. Uh, put a water maker in. We didn't have a water maker. Oh, uh, wow. But you actually, have the, pretty big electricity uh, usage. Yeah, do we you do, have any solar do. or anything or just the Yeah, we got, uh, we've only got the standard, um, 400, uh, uh, yes. no, it's 515 watts of solar, mm -hmm. which is the factory uh, fitting. We could really do with some more. Um, in When you're in the tropics, uh, it's absolutely fine. We can live off it uh, with a wind generator as well. There's no problem at all. Um, this is Dobby, by the way, our naked sailor cat. <laughs> and, wow, um, has, he been, has he been with you the whole three years? Uh, Nearly, no, nearly. no. He he came from the Canaries yeah. uh, the day before we set up on the Atlantic. So oh. he, uh, he he's a real sailor. He is a real sailor. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, we also changed the uh, rib. We had quite a big, heavy rib uh, when we bought the boat. We bought a lightweight, high field um, with a ten horsepower engine on, which actually goes very well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's been quite a few other smaller things along the way. I think that we've probably done to the boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So you said that you've actually cl crossed the Atlantic twice, um, yeah. one way with crew, one way back without crew. Yes. Um, so how is she like to shorthand sail? Uh, coming back was absolutely fine. We found it easier, didn't we? Yeah, we find it easier not having crew. It's just the both of us, so we don't have to uh, worry about, you know, food for everyone, if everyone is doing well, or, you know, just be yeah. generally wor worried. And uh, so, yeah, it was good. It yeah, was okay. yeah, no, it's absolutely yeah. fine. As I say, we don't go out at night. Yes. We stay in. We've got a uh, lot of downstairs, AIS downstairs. We can have the radar. Yeah. Um, we've got good visibility. Out it's very windows. tiring because it's yeah. just both of us, obviously. Yeah. And we yeah. are always, one of us is always on, on watch. But yeah, uh, but, yeah we, we, do, we do three hours, yeah. two, three hour shifts a night, yeah. uh, starting at seven o'clock. Carla would do seven till 10, and then we'd take it in turns from there. Yeah. Um, but uh, personally, we would prefer to do it just the two of us mm -hmm. uh, than with crew because you've got the extra responsibility of the crew. You've got to extra all the feeding, you've got all the extra cooking. And uh, even though this boat does sleep six, um, having four of us on it for uh, um, uh, five weeks, actually, five weeks, uh, we found quite sort of uh, not claustrophobic, but there was always people around. Mm -hmm. There's a kind of area where you go through the door to the cockpit and it's the main thoroughfare in and out. And it, that area is a bit small. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you've got a lot of people, you kind of start turning around each other and get around each other and that sort of thing. Um, but having said that, uh, it's easier when there's a couple on board or family on board. And uh, for, certainly for the two of us, it's absolutely perfect. I actually would say this is a perfect boat for a couple. Yeah, yeah. not for us. <laughs> <laughs> No, we just want a bigger. Uh, I, 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 I'd like to have a bigger galley because uh, I cook a lot, so we, we, we eat all the meals on the boat. So I would like to have a bigger space yeah. in the galley. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really our main uh, reason for having a new, a bigger boat. Yeah. Um, right. So tell us, um, what exactly are you looking for, and when you you're looking to upgrade your your Lagoon 400? To if, if, if we were going to buy another. Uh, uh, cat, it would be a uh, Lagoon 450 Sport, which would be uh, one with a mezzanine floor as opposed to the flybridge. Because uh, when you're short handed, uh, it's really good to have a mezzanine floor for the helm station, I think, uh, as opposed to being upstairs on the roof. Because uh, most of the time, then the two of you are visible, even if it's only a set of legs dangling down uh, in the chair upstairs. 
So uh, yeah, that was Adenonia's version, obviously. Uh, yeah. yeah. But this boat will certainly get you across the Atlantic and around the world. I wouldn't yeah. have any any <laughs> issues with that at all. I mean, we've done twenty five thousand miles, and that is equivalent to going around the world yeah. at the equator. Yeah. Right. So, what are your future plans with the new boat? If you get it, um, ideally, we would like to uh, go up to the uh, Black Sea uh, 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 through Istanbul, possibly, and go up to the Black Sea. And then next winter, we'd like to go through the Suez Canal and down to the Red Sea and do the Egyptian coast. Yeah, yeah that but, would be ideal. Yeah, but now yeah. we have COVID to worry. Too, yeah. so we don't. Oh, yeah. It's really difficult to make plans. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. But you know, you can sit here and dream, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you so much for all the information. And it sounds like a great adventure you've had with your event, your Lagoon 400. Um, if people are interested in following you, um, do you have... By all means, yes, they can yeah. follow us on YouTube, uh, on Instagram and on um, Facebook at uh, Sailing Ocean Fox. Sailing Ocean you, Fox. Yep, and you can see all about the boat there, all the maintenance we've done, the upgrades, and uh, there is a boat tour as well. Yes. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the Southern Portugal. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. Yes. Bye. All right. Bye.